The thread reinforcement, hmm. We have thread wallets. This is the Swell wallet. It is a bifold, so let's open this up. It's an OPP bag. Set that aside. And looks like we have a wrap here. This is clever. Looks like the tab is here. And let's take a look here. We've got some advertisements in here from Thread Wallet. Nice. So, exterior we're looking at. Let's take a look at some of the sewing really quick. Let's see there. Internal. Got some interesting design elements. Very thin. Well, let's go. Located very close to where I call home, Thread Wallets was started in 2015 to create something that was expressive, light, airy, and functional. So let's dive in. If we flip this over, we notice that we first have an exterior card slot. Excellent, this is a quick access. It's what we're always hoping for in wallets that we have. Capacity one to two cards. We open this up, we can see that we really have three internal card slots. We have one, two, and this elastic, and elastic is what they're known for in their product lines. So we have three internal card slots. Cards are cash folded twice. The elastic is very flexible, and the entire wallet really is four to 10 cards in capacity. This measures 3.8 by 2.6 by 0.3, and it weighs 0.9 ounces, or 25 grams. Like I said, this is very, very light. Hmm. Ooh, chrome tan leather. So a company recommends up to 10 cards. I got eight, or I got, mm, let's see, seven in there. And three slips of cash. Again, this elastic is really nice, gives all kinds of flexibility. It's not like you're stretching out leather, which is really kind of nice. This is designed in the United States and it's made in China. It's a chrome tanned leather with machine stitching. Uh, the thread reinforcement, hmm, really isn't present here. And that's where making the this pop as we start to put stress on these particular pockets becomes more real. And that's why corners really need to have extra reinforcement. So if you pull on this, uh, it would tear really quickly. Now, if you're not really being aggressive, then these wallets can last for a super long time. I just like to see better construction. Painted edges all along this, and it has a RFID line, lining in the three particular card slots. Right here, you can see the black there, as well as we have that in the exterior card slot right here. That's RFID lining. The elastic does not. So honestly, I wish this didn't have it. That makes it tap capable and you could do the protection inside of here. Honestly, it's a usability thing and you don't want to know my opinion on RFID. Now what we see is a nice crease detail on the slot headers and that takes work and that takes effort. And I think it's a nice design element. And as I mentioned, known for their elastic offering, it's what's in all their product lines. I reviewed another one of their products, which you can refer to at the end of the video. Now, one thing to note is that Threads Elastic does contain latex if you happen to be allergic to it. And they've got their nice little logo down here. This is a rubberized attachment. And they've also got their stamp here on the exterior. This wallet is priced for $30. Easy to use, no issues. The inclusion of the elastic really can be very good depending on the application due to its flexibility. And with all the cards facing in uh, to the fold, the cards are not gonna fall out very easily uh, even if this may become stretched or these become stretched. That's the benefit of bifold wallets. Kind of a fun wallet to throw in your backpack or to take out on a casual day. Now onto the final score. For quality of three, price of three, features of three, usability of four, and perception of four. That gives us a score of 3.4 out of five. I've done a review on another thread wallet. If you're interested, watch this video next and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.